Yo, what is going on guys? So today we're gonna be bringing y'all the first mod to my new Chevy Tahoe. So as you already seen on the title, today we're gonna be going ahead and replacing the um, the headlight bulbs for the low beams and high beams and getting rid of these nasty halogens. So this one originally comes stock with the, uh, you know, the yellowish uh, halogens uh, for uh, low beams and high beams. I looked on the internet, uh, there is an easy procedure to just do the, the low beams, which is reach right here, take this little top off, and install the low beam um, bulbs right there. Same for that side. But in this case, I ordered um, a kit that's for the low beams and the high beams. So uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and do the whole process with uh, kind of loosening up the bumper, the top, unscrewing it, and then removing the headlights so we can install both low beam and high beams. Um, so that way I'm not just running low beams, uh, LEDs, that way I can have both the low beams and high beams. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on first step. We're gonna be removing this whole cover and then we're gonna move on to the bottom and unscrew some screws and work our way up. So let's go ahead and get it. So pretty simple with these tabs. You use a flathead or a little um, bumper uh, leverage screw thing, and you just put it in the middle, kind of lift up on this, like that. And then the whole thing just comes up like that. So you're gonna do that for all these pins right here. So I can see. All right guys, so all the tabs have been loosened up and removed. And this just easily comes off like that. So we're gonna set this to the side real quick. And I'm gonna start removing, uh, I think I need to remove this, the grill screws, headlight screws, and then I'm gonna get under the car in a minute and remove the bumper grill, or the bumper um, screws that are attached in here. And then we're gonna pry the bumper off a little bit. So let's go ahead and get it. All right guys, so now what we're gonna be doing is removing these bolts right here. So let's go ahead and get the right size socket. I think they're gonna be seven millimeters. So. Let's give it a try and see if this is the right size. Okay, so that's the right size. So let's go ahead and start removing those. All right guys, so here are the screws. There's about five of them, seven millimeters. Give me one, two, three, four, five. Right here, actually six. Kind of the wrong, missing a screw, but it should be six actually. So yeah, here's the last one. So six screws. Uh, just put them on your side of the, wherever you took them off. Just gonna put them right here. So it should be the same exact procedure to that side so vice versa all right guys so next you're gonna get down here where the bumper's at and you're gonna remove two 10 millimeter you're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter uh, bolts and then you're gonna remove this clip right there so those two bolts and that clip all right so now you remove the uh two 10 millimeters and the uh, little uh, plastic um pin and you're gonna come up here and you're gonna start moving all these screws on the grill. They should be 10 millimeter. Yeah, so. Alright guys, so same process, repeat on this side as that side. 
So both sides, screws and pins are off. Now I'm gonna pop this loose and start moving the, the bumper. All right, guys. So once you remove both sides, bolts. There's gonna be two more bolts right there in the middle. Those are gonna be 10 millimeters. Then the whole bumper comes off, which makes it very easy and accessible to the headlights. It should be one, two, three, four bolts that hold the assembly in. So same procedure to both sides. All right guys, so after a little bit of effort, wiggle and a little bit of scratches here and there, uh, this, all it is is a simple plug in with the pin, slide that back, push it, remove the assembly. So now we're gonna try to remove these without scratching the lens. So that's how it is, two caps. So don't correct, these are the low beams. Yeah, these should be low beams. So. All right guys, so bulbs have been reinstalled. Um, the bulbs are a simple process. It's just plug and play. They quickly line up whenever you're gonna screw them in, so. He's gonna go ahead and turn them on real quick. So I can see way brighter, way better. Yeah, there it is guys. So now we're just gonna put everything back on the same exact way that we took it off. So uh, after everything's installed, I'll give you another uh, video uh, at night. Kind of give you a demonstration of the visibility. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, so here's a quick clip of uh, what these bulbs look like at night. Right now this is low beam. They're definitely way, way brighter than the stock collagens. Also, as you can see, the cutoff beam is actually really, really uh, precise. It's pretty much perfect. I'll kind of demonstrate you when I put it into a drywall so y'all can see. But that is low beams. That is high beams. So I can see it is extremely bright. I definitely recommend these bulbs. Uh, I paid about 120 for these bulbs. So not too crazy expensive. Let's turn right here. This is pretty dark right here, so. So I can see this is low beam, high beam. So let me go ahead and put in the driveway and kind of show you all uh, what I'm saying with the cutoff beam. So I can see, you can actually kind of see right there. See the cutoff line is very perfect. High beam, low beam. So, uh, yeah, guys, there you have it. Like I said, definitely first mod to it. I had to get rid of those halogens. I just don't fuck with them. Uh, they're not that bad, but these were definitely an upgrade. They're way brighter, and the look of it is just way, way more modern. So uh yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you have any questions comment down below let me know what y'all's opinion is let me give you a quick look over so there you have it guys keep up for more content peace out